Hi guys, this is Ancestral Owl Messages, and this is going to be a full moon read, full wolf moon read, for the collective sign of Aries for January 28th. So, this is a moonology deck. I'll be using a few decks. So, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages that need to come through for the collective sign of Aries for this the full wolf moon on January 28th or whenever they're led to this message in Jesus name Amen one more shuffle here we go alright nothing as yet set in stone Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Uh huh. Okay, both of them next two off the bottom. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. One more off the bottom. Two wanted to come out. Don't take the second one. Okay. Pro prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Taurus. This looks like cycle. I know that it looks like a cycle. See, I feel like you're here in the full moon. You've already been through this. And now it's time to show who you are to the world. There's something that you're being called to do and you're just kind of fighting yourself with it because you don't want to be seen. But if you do, by this next new moon, you're going to see rewards from it. Prosperity lies ahead. Because I feel like this is a cycle. Like it's timing. Okay, let's get, that was Moonology Deck by Yasmin Boland. This is Angels and Ancestors, Oracle Deck, Kyle Gray. All right, Aries. One more shuffle, okay. I am listening. All right, four Aries. Seer, see beyond the current situation. Someone is gifted here and they are hiding it. Lord, take charge with authority. And I feel like this is taking control of your life back or taking charge of your life back it's like someone told you you couldn't do this spirit fox trust your talents in changing times yes someone told you you couldn't do this snake shed old skin Gemini got those suit two same cards I like okay I'll explain this in the spirit song terror deck and I've used it for a few reads um, the ten of swords comes out as a snake that's the animal they chose for ten of swords and that is backstabbing and betrayal but the reason I like the fact that the snake shows up as the ten of swords the animal representing ten of swords is that it's also completion of a cycle, beginning another cycle, because 10 is completion of a cycle, 1 and 0 of 10 is 1, which is beginning of a new cycle. Now, what the snake does is that it sheds its skin, but it sheds off the negativity from the backstabbing and betrayal. It keeps the lessons, though, and keeps moving forward. 
So rather than believe what they have to say, keep the wisdom and move on, move forward. Because if they're not wanting you to do this, that means this is who you are and they're intimidated by you. Okay, at the bottom. Summer, bask in joy and light. Yeah, this is prosperity lies ahead. This is where you're going. It's not just financial prosperity because I think it's that too. I really feel strongly that it's that, but it's also spiritual prosperity, emotional prosperity. It's enjoying what you do. And what's on the bottom when I split the deck, Ten of Swords. There's a lesson here. And it's just that sometimes when people know who you are, they can, okay, they can see who we are sometimes before we do. When they know who you are and they're intimidated by you, they will do absolutely everything in their power to make sure you don't move forward or advance beyond them. So a lot, I believe, it's like a lot of, a lot of individuals are really breaking free from that. And I think a lot of people are were meant to be further down the road than what they are now on the spiritual work. And that's the reason there's a lot of quick movement when it comes to growth and developing gifts and, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Heart event. Yeah, spiritual teacher. Eight of Cups, following your heart. Seven of Wands, there's that argument. We'll get into this in a second. Ten of Swords, and it popped up anyway. Oh, I still love my cards. High Priestess, there you go. Spiritually gifted. Magician, you're manifesting this new beginning for yourself. Knight of Cups. The Moon. Right here, I can just, I don't even have to go on with the read. The moon card showed up for a full moon read for you, Aries. Isn't that like equivalent to a mic drop? Like, we're done. Chariot. Yep. That's that getting on the <laughs> getting further down the road where you're supposed to be at fast movement with your spiritual gifts. Yes. And Page of Cups. Here we go. Let's get into this. Because this looks like someone stepping into their gifts, stepping into their power, heading down fast movement down that road to get what they're supposed to go. And I'm telling you, by the this new moon, you're gonna see. The results of this. Hierophant number five, Major Arcana, that is change. Now, see, I like this card spiritual teacher, leader, guide. But this is, I like the fact that the number is number of change. This is a leader of change, an agent of change, a guide of change. I like this. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. That's the lesson. Now. See. And this too. Let me go back a little bit. This is where you're heading. But there was a teacher in your life. That was the one that told you you couldn't do it. There was someone in your life that told you you couldn't do it. And it was someone you looked up to. And it was a teacher to you. A guide to you. And all you were trying to do is follow your heart. And this is what happened. This argument erupted. Now, rather than you being at the top of the cliff, you were one of the ones. Because the person that did this to you and started this argument had done that to many, many other people. 
but I feel like this year, which is um, 2021, two, two, and one is five, year of change, everything's being righted. Those that are supposed to be further down their spiritual path than what they are. They're supposed to be teachers, guys. They're coming out of the woodwork. Prophets, prophetic, seers, dreamers, everything. Because there were leaders that stood on that cliff, was intimidated by their gift because they came across like they were gifted and really weren't and kicked individuals off. So when this happened, left you like this ten of swords which goes back to that snake shed this keep the lessons because you're going to need them to teach other people because this is what you are you are gifted high priestess is divinely connected psychic empathic spiritually gifted on many different areas now, you've manifested this new beginning, and I really believe you manifested this new beginning and this new opportunity to do something that you've tried to do before because you were crawling out for justice. So, here's your new beginning. You're manifesting new beginning of this. Knight of Cups, that is love offer coming in, but I don't even see it as a love offer here. I see it as... And we'll go to that one, too, because that's a relationship, too. But I really feel like this is a spiritual path here. That's what this is. That's what this is. <sighs> Man. Okay, that, that's what angers me about this. This is what angers me about people that do this. Is because you were meant... To be in a place where someone crossed your path. And then this happened. So it kind of delayed it for a little bit. Kind of put it aside. Because what's supposed to happen is this. And that's coming. Because you're going to be set on the right road again. <laughs> the moon. Ugh. This full moon is going to reveal a lot of things to you. And expect chariot, that's fast movement forward, and page of cups. Page of cups is learning about, this is small messages of love. The messenger is the page. And they're like my boys when they were little. That's how I see um, pages. When they were asking about every single thing around and I don't even think um, that you even thought about relationship or anything. Just kind of put it on the back burner. And if I pull out additional cards, probably hermit card will end up coming out. Because you went into hermit mode. Or you've had relationships. But there was one relationship. That just kind of never materialized. And I think it was because of this. This person removed you. See, if you look at it, look at this card. What the crow is standing on is that wand. Yeah, they're saying something that should have never been said. And they really kicked you off of that. But by this full moon, by the full moon, you're going to like really understand this a lot better. You're going to get clarity with it. And there's going to be fast movement here. And those messages of love. And this is even just going through the spiritual pathway. The Knight of Cups is a new love for that which you thought was gone. This is a new love for that. New inspiration, new creativity. Where someone told you you couldn't do it. And with that moon... Fast movement, creativity, downloads, dreams, visions, direction. And then these messages coming in that we've been waiting for you to step into your rightful place, that type of thing. 
Because I really feel like, okay, with the spiritual pathway, yes. And this relationship, there's a relationship here for others. Where it was someone interfered and told you you couldn't follow your heart and you tried to. And then it was almost like they were trying to put you in your place. But you knew where you were supposed to be and manifested this pathway back. Yep. Yeah. Aries. And you know what you're supposed to do. You know how to do it. You know how to get there. Don't pay attention to whatever they said. Even if it was recent, don't pay attention to it. But reveal yourself. Like, don't pay attention to this. Because they were just trying to push you over the side. And they managed to do that. They did. Don't stay there, though. Shed it. Shed the negativity. Keep the lesson. Alright, let's get a couple Goddess Dream Oracles by Wendy Andrews. Get the Divine Feminine Energy of the Moon. Happiness, joy of life, 14 card, 4 and 1 is 5. That is number of change. There we go. The Hierophant. Abundance, count your blessings. It, that goes with the prosperity and the summer, bask in joy and light. Yeah. 3, 6, 9. Three, six, nine. Oh, that's wild. It almost looks like the Ten of Cups picture. That's the reason I was looking at it and counting the roses around it. Count all of the flowers, all the roses. Okay, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Two and three. Yeah, five. Change. Change. They thought they put you in your place. That you were never allowed to grow because if you grew, you would outgrow them. If you grew, you would figure out that their opinion was just that. An opinion to be thought about for you to make the judgment call. So they put you in, they thought they put you in this place to where you really couldn't go beyond that. Dreaming, be aware of your dreams. Eleven card. That's the angelic number. You're going to have dreams. That's going to point to the truth of this. And you have that seer card. That's how you're going to see the truth of it. And if you look, up there by the full moon in this card, the top of her head, if you look closely, there's a wolf. The full moon is the wolf moon. I love that. Okay. One off the bottom. Letting go. Emotional release. 21 card. Two and one is three. That's number of divinity. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, man, God, and the angels. Yeah. Let go of the restrictions that other people have placed on you. Do I have these upside down? No. Okay. Yeah, they put restrictions on you because they were intimidated by you. They were intimidated by your growth. They were intimidated by your gifts. They brushed you away. Don't let them do that. Okay, let's get a couple Enchanted Blossoms Empowerment Oracle. That way I leave you with a blessing. Gratitude, Bluebell, Brimstone. 
beautiful. And they look like butterflies. They're dragons with butterfly wings. Amazing. Gratitude. And bravery. Oak leaves, purple, hair streak. Yeah, be brave. Go out there. They can't stop you now. That was in the past. Keep the lessons. Shed everything else. Push forward. And I want to point out to purple. The purple in these cards. If you feel so inclined, actually, I'll do it now. Because I feel like there's significance with the purple. Hold on a second. Google is a fantastically wonderful thing. Didn't have Google when I was younger. No, we had to actually go into the library and read a book. Anyway, stop complaining here. Okay. Spiritual significance. Now I know this, like I know it, but I haven't memorized all of them. That's <laughs> purple is associated spiritual spirituality, the sacred higher self, passion, third eye, fulfillment, and vitality. Purple helps align oneself with the whole of the universe, while the color purple represents royalty, lavender represents beauty and femininity. Wow. Google is a wonderful thing. So. Okay. So, for the collective sign of Gemini. Or not Gemini. See? I've had a long day already. For the collective sign of Aries. This is your full moon read for January 28th. Or whenever you like this message. Be blessed. Love and light.